you know what? Every, every, everyone go check out Pandarian's Twitter and how his thoughts on how he uh, <laughs> conveyed them on that set. But regardless, we're gonna get into it here. Arfang going Rob and uh, Liquid the Buzz rocking the Alamart. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it started. <laughs> the ghost symbol is still on the screen, Flambo. Yeah. My God. Ah. <laughs> you love to see it. Well, <laughs> ground control to Major Tom. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> I was like, can we get some help over here? Right, it looks like the buzz. You know, he's doing a pretty good job, to say the least. Already has Arfang up to 106%. Mr. Rob, not doing too bad, though. Uh, keeping up, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he definitely got his bell rung with that early percent right there. But Rob is still a very heavy character, so he's not going to be in any sort of, like, real danger anytime soon. Ooh, oh, but great lead on the side B right there. Didn't carry him quite close enough to the blast on here, but he's definitely going to go off stage. I'm going to hit him one more time. The buzz is really good at mixing it up, and he cannot catch him. Whoa, he basketball so <laughs> quick there. I thought, I thought he was out. Yeah, there we go. The up throw. Wow. Jeez. Even on a character as, as heavy as Rob, that's going to be uh, you know, stock loss for our fans. And the buzz off to a quick start here. Yeah, Mr. Blue. Right there when you needed him, and now the Buzz trying to tack on a little bit of extra damage, but Arfang still in hot pursuit. No air dodge on the Buzz here. He can't get the down air though, and another chance to tack on some more damage. Yeah, I can definitely see that being a factor here, especially if the Buzz has like one or less Pikmin at his disposal. You know, that's going to be a, a huge opportunity for Arfang to maybe capitalize on an edge guard, but you know, both times just come up a little bit short. Good parry on the nair right there from the Buzz, but just not in the close enough uh, proximity to where you can get a punish out of it. Yeah, one thing I want to talk about is how the bus has even been able to rack up this much damage so quickly. It's kind of one of those things where you see someone at such a high percent, you think, oh, at this point they're going to camp, they're going to run away from me. But the buzz has been going head first at our thing, and I think that makes them up a little bit. You can expect the aggression from someone who's at 176.3%. Yeah, for sure. There we go. The suplex on the platform, though, clean up that socket. I think the Buzz recognizes that, you know, Rob is a character that's going to want to play, you know, in your face and, you know, with an item. You know, a, he's a set play character at heart uh, with a, a couple of really good projectiles. So I think the Buzz is just trying to smother our thing. It's like, okay, I'm not going to let you play the game that you oh want to play. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, 59. Quick ones. Says, Here's a 60 and 3.5, baby. Right, he's mixing them up, goes for the up tilt there. It's going to be first Arfang, but that's it, just the grab. Can't really get much else, and that's happened a lot for Arfang. The buzz has just been preemptively throwing out these hitboxes. One of the things for Rob is it takes him a while to get those aerials out, so the buzz preemptively knows what he's going to do. He's able to punish recording. Yeah, Arfang surviving that F smash right there, but still sitting on his last legs on this uh, first game here. The buzz having a really, really strong offensive lineup out right now. Oh, the back air's gonna catch him. That's not gonna be dead Ooh. yet. Oh! oh, yes. From deep, baby. It's in the shoes. Or shoe, I guess. I don't know what this Rob wears shoes. <laughs> okay, he's trying to get really aggressive here, maybe giving the buzz a bit of a taste of his own medicine, but I don't know if it's quite gonna work. 154, definitely gonna get that blue Pikmin in line soon. Yeah, he, for that grab. Yeah, he's gonna have to play this one really close to the vest, this R Fang. Had the right idea there. Uh, the buzz you know, did air dodge. There he and switches. Blue Pikmin's in front. Switch it up. Yeah, Blue Pikmin should be coming up uh, soonish. He's gonna change oh, the out of the again. order. Okay. He doesn't want to get too close. Oh my god. Oh, now he's got two of them. Good lord. Yeah, I know. And at this point for Arfang, he needs to get some sort of Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'll see ya. Yeah, Blue, Blue Pikmin living out a dream of not being the crab that killed the firm. Instead, he uses his body the old fashioned way. So. Oh, oh, take that. Wait. Oh. Arfang, stone face. Let's get that close up. Like, all right, yeah, he's like, yeah, I kind of got clapped up at the end there, but. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I had us in the first half. So. <laughs> I'll bring it back game two. I'll bring it back game two. And I do applaud Arfang for not being afraid to go with secondaries, especially in these high pressure situations. Mm -hmm. Like, we saw him go, uh, you know, Young Link against uh, Wishes. Wishes, and I think he went, uh, I think he also has a Palutena in his arsenal, if I'm correct. Uh, no, I believe that. you're correct. Yeah, yeah, so he's definitely not a, uh, shy to use the secondaries, especially when, it, you know, you don't usually see it from. Uh, I feel like certain players are stubborn when right. it comes to doing that. Like, you know. It's oh, he's going to stick with it, too. Yeah, rightfully so. I think the Rob did fine. He was definitely catching on a little bit late, but uh, you know, it definitely wasn't a bad choice. It's just, you know, Alomar. The Buzz built himself such a great lead, and our friend was just forced to tread water the rest of the set. So. I actually think the stage is going to help quite a bit here. I Nashville agree. with the, uh, the extensions for the Buzz, just chaining him to the skies with up airs and up smashes was not a good look. 
Nah, for sure. Yeah, definitely having the bigger blast zones uh, to deal with. Oh They're going to make things slightly easier for him. But Arfang, once again, eating a lot of damage in these oh early stages of the game. Like, want to gas a brother up, but he gets oh. hit by a Pikmin. No tech against the bottom of the stage and loses the first stock with only 11% on the buzz. Definitely not how he wants to start it off. And uh, maybe he'll have to think about it. Yeah, can't gas the brother up if he ran out of gas. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's harder here, man. The pressure just going up. There you go. That is, there's one tool I haven't seen Arfang uh, utilize a lot of yet. Oh, oh, what a great reversal from the buzz. Forget everything I was just going to say. Yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, man. Like, Damn, man. Was trash day today? <laughs> oh, let me escort you out real quick. The Damn, buzz man. playing no games. Wow. Looking like 3 to 112. Two quick ones. <laughs> let me get a one time. <laughs> That was crazy, man. And that's such a great awareness from the buzz to like reverse the situation right there. You very rarely see players do that where Rob will go for the, uh, for the rotor arms off stage and you know people very rarely realize, oh crap, this guy's in a lot of end lag. I'm probably gonna do something here. And you see the, the squad coming through. Hey, let's throwing go up what? signs. You said they were throwing up gang signs? They were throwing up signs, they didn't say what kind of signs. <laughs> okay, so. okay, just checking, just checking. Come on, we're good here. Yeah, at least so we think. Alright, so. Arfang going to that tried and true. Switching to Pichu here. Then this matchup is gonna be it's gonna be interesting. And like you know, it showed you were, you saw one side of the spectrum where Arfang was playing the heavy, you know, tankier character and could probably live to take some hits uh, from Olimar. Uh, but now we're seeing the exact opposite. Uh, glass cannon archetype character in Pichu. So you know, he's gonna have no problem getting the kills. The important thing is, is you know, how long is Arfang gonna be able to how much mileage is he gonna be able to get out of these stocks? Right, he really has to carry him off the side. More importantly, he needs to kill the buzz once he gets him off stage, man. The moment he has to hit that up special, he needs to confirm these edge guards. But it can be so difficult to pin him down, but that's one of the areas where Olimar really struggles. He's so vulnerable off stage. He is one of the perfect characters for applying pressure in those scenarios. Yeah, but right here, this is not the spot where Arfang wants to be in. Oh, bro, you're bold. Man, you got cajones for days. Yeah, I'm saying. I'm actually kind of surprised that Pichu lived that. I just always expect Pichu to explode. Yeah, fact. <laughs> Pop the bubble, man. Yeah, man, for real. Arfang not being, uh, you know, phased by that, though, continuing to chase. Yeah. To the other side. Yeah. Coast to coast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's ability on the get-up attack to yes, stuff sir. the forward smash as well. Arfang trying to find something. The thing is, if he wants to camp it out a little bit, the buzz just runs to the other side of the stage and starts throwing Pikmin Ooh. off the ledges. There we go. Okay, great catch right there from Arfang, uh, getting that forward smash. All right, goes to the other side. I like it. Buys some time for himself. And, ooh, actually gets a good chunk of damage off those Thunder Jolts. Yeah, a clean, you other know. Side again. Yeah, Arfang definitely trying to get as much mileage out of this before he gets his demise. 16.9% will be the uh, the high water mark for that second stock right now. All right, just like that, the damage is met. A little bit more pressure gets a grab. It's going to lead to some conversion. Just an air. That's all he's able to get off of that one. And the buzz. Perfect. Up smash out of shield. God damn. Yeah, did not think that was going to reach, but he's been on the buzz, recognizing that he's going to be able to get that. Uh, Arfan kind of forced to play the long game. Stuffs him once again. The buzz has been so good. All set. Stuffing out the aerial approach from Arfan, whether it's Rob or Pichu. Okay, down smash is gonna miss. Oh, that was, okay. that was gross. <laughs> wow, that was. Pichu's cool. definitely got rocks in his head. Right now, can sure. you kill him? Can you kill him? Nope. It's so hard, man. Yeah, man. It, it, it's rough. Alomar's so tiny. You know, it's definitely hard to kind of get around that uh, that teeny tiny hurt box that he's got. Right, Send him back. Up. Try to catch him off stage again. Yes. Wow. Okay, it's enough to kill. Randy Fang still in this, but once again has his back against the ropes. This is the loser's bracket. He will be sent home if he's unable to capitalize and secure that stock right here and now to force this to a game four. Oh, oh that Jalas is way. Smash the eye? Not the Pikachu's <laughs> big ass head. <laughs> it's it's like, up on the other side there. The psych. You want to see mix ups? I got mix ups. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. Arfang is trying to get himself back in the thick of things here. The buzz gonna miss that grab. This is an opportunity. No, 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 no. Oh, he's out of there. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna head out. He was not happy with that, man. He said, time to dip. Damn, That's what man. Because he definitely knew off of that up air he was gonna be able to convert into that thunder, but just completely just botched the execution there. You know, gonna go ahead and pound it out to the buzz. The buzz, of course, has to like kind of awkwardly stay there on stage because he has to play the next match. But <laughs> Jeez, <man. laughs> you get how you live, man.
Yeah, man, that's, you know, it was, was a rough draw for Arfang, but, you know, ending up here at fourth place at a very, There's very a beat here, man. That's still good for the resume. Yeah, man, for sure. It's all about just, you know, getting that work experience. And, you know, of course, I'm sure he would have liked to go farther. You know, I've, I've always said this, that the buzz is the ultimate benchmark oh, for dude. a player. Like, if you can beat the buzz, you can beat anybody. I agree. Like, in my opinion.